give me a little, little Swiss Marilyn Monroe. That's good. It's going to be inspired by Marilyn Monroe, old Hollywood, beautiful, feminine. The way I interpret it was the mistress leaving the hotel the day after. That old Hollywood bounce, but quite disheveled. Can you show me your interpretation of Marilyn Monroe? Nice. The look is flawless bare. I believe if Marilyn Monroe was around today, it would all be about perfect sculpted skin. And there's no mascara, there's no lipstick, nothing. Just beautiful skin. I think I just started thinking how amazing Marilyn Monroe is still, because every day you see her somewhere and how amazing that is after so many years. So I started sort of looking into what was so special about her. She was so amazing, but it was a lot to do with what she wore, the colors, and all of her imagery. I mean, so many photographs of Marilyn Monroe. You know, you think you've seen them all, and then there's another load. I went to Beverly Hills, went to the, into a bungalow. I went to Jersey and met the man who's got the biggest collection of her dresses in the world and actually got to hold them, which was absolutely amazing. We've done some illusion dresses, we've obviously got some gold lame. Jenny took the idea of 1950s Marilyn. You know, I like that idea of kind of taking a little bit of a California attitude with all of the romantic bohemian spirit we're seeing here in New York. Beautiful blush pinks and deep pinks many times beaded with a lovely palm frond on top of them, which I thought was so beautiful. Flowers on every runway, and they certainly were on hers, many times beaded in a mix of pattern. You would have one floral beaded on the dress and an entirely different flower beaded on the little jacket that topped it that I thought was super chic. And of course, just beautiful chiffon everywhere. It was also fun to see that she was experimenting with the idea of big bouffant ball gowns. And big ball gowns, one particularly looked like liquid chocolate that would come out of a chocolate fountain that you would dip strawberries in that had a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then another really beautiful floral gown that was just almost like a beautiful rose bowl float from Pasadena coming down the runway. pale yellow, bright yellow, an interesting tropical pattern that she actually engineered to give it a real modernity that she did in a great cocktail dress, rolled topper, and again, one of those big bouffant gowns. It just seemed to move on its own. This very Marilyn. She just seemed to fit in with sort of what I felt was happening now and the trends and a very sort of enjoyable season, really. 